guys today we are going to learn how to make this brightening aloe vera face wash it is a very nice skin soothing and brightening aloe vera face wash which includes raw aloe vera pulp along with some lactic acid for brightening aloe vera will give some soothing effect simultaneously it will help hydrate the skin and then certain ingredients which give this product a really decadent and creamy feel which also makes this a really luxurious and lovely brightening skin cleansing aloe vera face wash so what are you waiting for let's get making this lovely soothing aloe vera facial cleanser what we need to do is we need to begin with raw aloe vera so as I told you, we are going to make this from scratch using raw aloe vera. So here I have a aloe vera leaf from my garden. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape these sides and then peel off the peel so that I can get this fresh aloe vera juice. some fresh raw aloe vera pulp and I think this is going to be approximately 5% for my recipe I'm just going to weigh it out if it's less then I'm going to add some more otherwise I'm going to move forward with it also I'm going to weigh it out after I have you know popped it in the mixer grinder and churn it all out to make aloe vera juice because it is not easy for me to you know use an emulsion blender to uh, reduce the size of this pulp and convert it into a juice there is by five percent or in this case five grams of aloe vera pulp once we are done with our pulp and puree of aloe vera here what i have done is i have taken 0.5 percent of xanthan gum in 10 percent of glycerine and i'm going to allow it to hydrate this will let me walk you through with my ingredients that I'm going to use for my soothing aloe vera face wash or gentle foaming cleanser. So here I have already mixed my xanthan gum and my glycerine. So this is 0.5% xanthan gum and 10% of glycerine. Then here I have 5% of raw aloe vera pulp. Then here it's my 5% of lactic acid, 2% niacinamide. So lactic acid will help with the brightening part, niacinamide for the healing properties. Then here for my surfactant phase or my cleansing agents, my surfactant phase is a combination of three different surfactants. My amphoteric CAPB, this is 10% CAPB. Then I have 20% of capril capril glucoside. Then for some extra foaming and a very lace like lather, I have some 5% of SCI. Moving forward to my oil phase. So my oil phase here is very simple and small. It has 0.5% um, uh, of cetyl alcohol, 0.5% of steric acid and 2% of glycerol stearate. This is not lotion pro this is just basic glycerol steroid so this is all about it now let's get making to begin i'm going to start with my heated water phase so this is not actually my heated water phase what i'm supposed to do is i'm taking some preheated distilled water and this is really hot to this i'm going to add my lactic acid my five percent lactic acid then my 2% uh, niacinamide, my 5% aloe vera pulp and I'm going to give it a nice mix. Once it has been mixed, I'm going to add my glycerine slurry. So my, this is my xanthan gum slurry and I'm going to leave it that way. So without wasting any more time what i'm going to do is i'm going to add all my surfactants here so i'm going to begin with my capril capril glucoside which is also a thickener so it is not only an surfactant it also works as a thickener to this i'm going to add my capb 
and my SCI. Give it a nice mix. So you are supposed to be very gentle while you are mixing it. Uh, I'm going to keep this aside and I'm going to take a large beaker to this I'm going to add all my oil soluble ingredients all my heat oil phase or heated oil phase ingredients this is my two person glycerol stirate to this I'm going to add 0.5 percent of stearic acid this will help thicken the formulation then some Cetyl alcohol. This is again 0.5% of cetyl alcohol. Now I'm going to pop this on our double boiler and I'll allow it to melt by the time my heated or my water phase ingredients are hydrating. So here you can see all my heated oil phase ingredients have been melted. My glycerol stearate, my cetyl alcohol and my stearic acid. To this, I'm going to add all my oil phase ingredients, water phase ingredients. Now, very slowly and steadily, I'm just going to give it a nice mix. You can see it has started gelling and sort of thickening up. And I'm going to add this to my heated oil phase. Always remember to add your water phase in your oil phase, not the other way around. Now I'm going to hand mix it really nicely. And there you go. You can see it has started forming a nice gel like feel. I'm going to put it aside for 5 minutes and I'm going to weigh all my uh, cool down phase ingredients while this is being rested. For my cool down phase, I'm going to add 0.5% of my preservative, which is liquid Jomol Plus, and 0.5% of vitamin E oil. Again, I'm going to give it a very nice mix. And my soothing aloe vera pulp face wash is ready so all I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe it and then I'm going to allow it to cool since we are done making and packaging I'm going to label it there so it's my brightening aloe vera face wash the brightening pad comes from the 5% lactic acid which we have incorporated now for the demonstration for the demonstration, I'm going to take a dollop on the back of my hand. Creates a very nice and mild leather, creamy, soothing and brightening. So this is kind of an all-in-one theme. And when you add water to it, it becomes very very gentle and lighter so the more water the more lighter it would be and it won't leave a sticky or greasy feel behind rather it will clean everything up pretty nicely you can also use it as a makeup remover if you want there you go Wow, I can see the difference. Nice, lovely. That was about it for my 5% lactic acid and raw aloe vera brightening aloe face wash or you can say face cream cleanser. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please go and subscribe. I'm going to link down a lot many other blog posts and 
useful links which you can have a nice read or watch the videos and this this face wash is also a continuation of my series which i'm doing for brightening the last video which i did was an under eye brightening cream i'm going to link that down below and yes stay tuned for more thank you so much guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing